I was addressing the psychological and physical consequences of indefinite detention at Guantanamo. So, for example, um, you know, as Pardee said, I think the the hunger strike and the and the um, intrusion into religious practices really is sort of a trigger point uh, in the context of a much larger problem, which is the indefinite detention that's going on at Guantanamo. Um, and in this situation, you have a severe. Um, severe uh, uh, and lasting psychological trauma. And this is caused by chronic states of, of stress, anxiety, and dread, because essentially these people at Guantanamo don't know if they're going to be released, if ever. They don't know if they're going to be charged. They know some people will be charged, but, but yet not everyone who's, who might be charged has been charged. They don't know if they're ever going to see their family again. Now, it's been uh, over 10 years, and you have people who left their children who were you know, young toddlers, they're now young teenagers, and they have no, um, you know, way of knowing whether they should cut those ties and tell their family to forget about them or try to keep those ties. And they have extremely irregular contact with their families. So all of this uncertainty and uncontrollability causes extreme stress on the immune system, the cardiovascular system. Um, it leads to asthma, diabetes, gastro gastrointestinal disorders. Um, uh, spread of cancer and viral infections, hypertension, depression, suicide, PTSD. So, you know, yesterday the state testified, the United States testified as to the great um, care and, and hospital facilities and beds and primary care providers, but that all does not negate the psychological trauma caused by this indefinite detention, which in this case really is sort of the epitome of indefinite, because who knows when the war uh, against terrorism will ever end.